Welcome to you all to this MOOC's online video course, Theory of Yarn Structure. In the last three lectures, we were discussing about mass irregularity of yarns. Though we majorly spoke about slivers, however, the basic concepts of Martinel theory as well as bundle theory are also valid for yarns. So, the same expressions we can use for mass irregularity of yarns also. Now, we will discuss about some numerical problems based on what we learned so far in this module. So, we start with our first numerical problem, numerical problem 1. So, consider a sliver which is prepared from cotton fibers of 25 millimeter mean length and 0.16 tex mean fineness. The counts in kilotex of the sliver measured at 5 different places are 5.9, 5.5, 5.7, 5.0, 5.6, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99, 5.99,
average this will be equal to 35625. So, this is the average number of fibers present in the cross section of the sliver. Then V n is equal to 1 by square root of this this will give you So, this is the answer. If you wish to express it in terms of percentage, then point 0 0.0.5298 percentage. So, the coefficient of variation of number of fibers in the cross section of sliver is equal to 0 0.5298 percent. So, this was your numerical problem 1 and solution. Now, we proceed to numerical problem 2. So, this is your numerical problem 2. Calculate the coefficient of variation of count of cotton sliver of 0 0.10 any mean count. So, Five point nine zero five kilotex and fiber mean fiber fineness is given tex. Coefficient of variation of fineness of fiber is also given in terms of dimensionless, it is zero point three five. Now you are asked to calculate the coefficient of variation of count of cotton fiber. So, Martindale's formula. So, this formula if you substitute the data it will give you the required value. Right. So, this will lead to dimensionless if you wish to express in terms of percentage five five right so this is the required answer the coefficient of variation of count of sliver is 0 0.55 percentage Now, we will go to problem number 3. The coefficient of variation of count of cotton slivers is often expressed as C V limit is equal to 106 root over n bar. This expression is often found in textile literature. While deriving this relation, how much is the coefficient of variation of fineness of cotton fiber considered? 
So, you are asked you are asked to calculate coefficient of variation of fineness of cotton fiber, if this is the expression for coefficient of variation of count of cotton fiber. So, we rewrite this expression in our symbols V t is equal to dimensionless given right. The formula used to calculate this was this. So, if we equate we have to find out v small t. So, square so Zero point three five one six. So you see that this particular expression is valid for cotton sliver, and when coefficient of variation of fiber fineness is thirty five point one six percentage. But often we think that this expression is valid for all cotton fibers irrespective of the variety of cotton fibers used to produce those fibers, which is not correct. So, this expression is true if this is the C V of fiber fineness. If the C V of fiber fineness changes of course, this value will not be 106 instead of 106 it can be some other value. However, there is a tendency amongst us to use this expression for all cotton slivers or all cotton yarns which is not correct. So, you have to first find out in reality in practice you have to first find out the coefficient of variation of fiber fineness then you have to use Martindale's expression then you have to find out C V limit. Similarly, there is another problem associated with wool fiber based on that problem number 4 is designed. The coefficient of variation of count of woolen slivers or woolen yarn also is often expressed as C V limit 112 root over n bar. In case of yarn it will be yarn cross section. Right. Then you are asked to find out the fineness of wool fiber. So, we rewrite this expression using our symbols right. right square which is equal to 0 0.5044. So, 
Also, we have observed that this expression is frequently used for all Ullens fiber, which is not correct because this expression is valid only when wool fiber has a mass CV of wool fiber has a mass CV of around 50 percent. If this number changes, then this number will change. So, what we have to do in practice when you need to find out the limit C V of woolen sliver or woolen yarn, you have to first find out the fineness of C V of fineness of wool fiber, then you have to use Martinelli's formula, then you have to find out the correct quantity here. Right. In this way, you need to do in reality. Now, we come to problem number 5. It is a quite long problem. Consider that a draw frame is fed with 6 cotton carded slivers of the following specifications. Sliver number 1 mean fiber fineness 0 0.15 takes CV of fineness fiber fineness 35 percent and mean sliver fineness is 5.9 kilo takes. Second sliver is different from first one mean fiber fineness 0 0.16 takes CV of fiber fineness 35.16 percent and mean sliver fineness 5.91 takes. Third sliver is different from 1 and 2 mean fiber fineness 0 0.20 takes CV of fiber fineness 34.10 percent and mean sliver fineness 5.95 takes. Similarly, all other slivers are different. So, these 6 different slivers are fed in a draw frame and as a result we double it we obtained one sliver double sliver you need to find out the CV of count of the double sliver. Right. So, how do you find out this problem? So, let us solve this problem. What we have to do is that we have to find out the variance of the double sliver, mean of the double sliver and from there C V. But before that we have to use Martinez formula to find out the C V of individual slivers is not it. So, let us do that. Now, sliver number this was given, this was given. this was given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry.
So, we have to first find out this mean dimensionless using Martindale's formula. What is Martindale's formula? Right. So, using this formula T bar is given 0 0.15, capital T bar is given 5.9 kilo dex, you have to convert it to dex that is multiplied by 1000 and V t is given in percentage. So, dimension is it will be 0 0.35 square plus 1. So, this value you will obtain as 5.3. Let me write it in terms of unit. This is dimensionless, this is in text given, and this is kilo text given. So, you have to multiply it by 1000, then V square T in percentage given. So, the square quantity right after square plus 1. So, the first reading I will tell you 0.15 divided by 5.90 into 1000 into 35 square divided by 10,000 plus 1, this will lead to 0 0.0053. Similarly, for the next one roughly same reading 0061, then you will get 0058 then you will get 0063, the last one you will get this. So, this is the individual you will get, then you have to find out the variance. So, from this table you will find out the variance. Precisely now how to find out variance? So, for the first one square of 0 0.0053 into 5900 5.90 square. So, its unit will be kilo dex square. So, this reading you will see you will get this value. For the second sliver 0 0.0053 square multiplied by 5.91 square, this will give you little different. For the third one 0 0.0061 square multiplied by 5.95 square, you will get this value. For the fourth one 0 0.0058 square multiplied by 5.93 square which will lead to for the fifth one 0 0.0063 square into 5.98 square for the 
for the sixth the last one 0 0.0057 square into 5.93 square this. Then what you have to do? You have to basically sum all this. So, if you sum up all these readings, all these six readings, what you will get is seventy point two one into ten to the power minus four kilotech square. And also you have to sum the mean stiber fineness this will give you 35.6 kilotex. So, you know variance you know mean you will be able to find out C V how you will find out C V let us go to next page. So, double sliver by this. So, this is your 70.21 into 10 to the power minus 4 and T bar is your 35.6. Okay. So, you will see this will probably come this. So, 0 0.0024. So, in terms of percentage if you wish to write zero point two four. What is interesting you see not a single individual sliver has less than 0 0.0024. So, all individual slivers had a higher mass irregularity because of doubling the C V becomes 0 0.0024 which is why doubling is carried out. right. So, this was the solution of problem number 5. Now, we proceed to problem number 6. Consider that a draw frame is fed with 8 cotton carded slivers. Each carded sliver has 4 kilotex mean count and 6 percent coefficient of variation of count. So, what is given here is 4 kilotex and is given doubling is 8. Okay. So, what will be the variance of individual one? this what will be the unit kilo x square right and what will be the summation of all variance is basically
which is equal to 0 0.5 square and what is the fineness of double sliver? Thirty-two kilodex. So you know variance, you know mean. You have to find out CV. This will give you 0 0.0212. If you wish to express in terms of percentage, two point one two percent. So the coefficient of variation of count of the double sliver is two point one two percent. So, this was your problem number 6. Now, we proceed to problem number 7. A cotton sliver of 5.9 kilotex mean count is prepared from fibers of 25 millimeter length. 0.16 takes mean fineness and 35 percent CV of fiber fineness. So, let us see what is given. This is given takes, this is also given assuming all fibers are inclined at an angle of 5 degree from the axis of the slifer. Mm -hmm. Calculate the coefficient of variation of count of the slifer. So, you remember the theory when theory of uh, C V of sliver fineness when all fibers are inclined at a same angle from the axis of the sliver. We derive this relation V t is equal to small t bar by capital T bar cos theta V square t plus 1. This theory we have derived. So, if we substitute capital T bar is also given text. So, if we substitute capital T bar 0 0.16 5900 cos 5 degree 0 0.35 square plus 1. This you will see value will come approximately equal to 0 0.0055. So, if you wish to express in terms of percentage Zero point five five. <clears throat> this problem
seems to be very similar to problem number 2 except the fact that the angle is 5 degree. In problem number 2 angle is 0 degree we found this value when the angle is 5 degree we found the value remains same. Instead of 5 degree if this value would have been say a little higher 15 degree 20 degree then this value would have been higher. As the angle is very small near to 0, so it is impact on the mass CV of the sliver is not seen. However, if the angle will be higher then this value will be higher which will be different from 0 0.55. Right. So, problem number 7 is completed. Now, we proceed to problem number 8. This is problem number 8. A cotton sliver of 5.9 kilotex mean count is prepared from fibers of 25 millimeter mean length, 0 0.16 tex mean fineness and 35 percent coefficient of variation of fineness. This sliver exhibits Ustar CV of 4 percent. Determine the index of irregularity of this sliver, comment on the results obtained. So, this is your problem number 8. Let us see what is given. So, capital T bar is given text small t bar we will require text V t is given and actual is given. you have to find out index of irregularity all right index of irregularity actual by limit in terms of our symbol by limit so this value is given this value is not given so, we have to find out this value using Martindale's model. Right. This is given zero point one six, this is given five nine zero zero this value is given square this value is given show this will be equal to we have already solved this problem 0 0.0055 show if we substitute 0 0.04 divided by 0055 which will be equal to 7.27 it should have been near to 1 if Martindale's theory was correct, but it is becoming 7.27 too high index of irregularity that is the comment. Right. Let 
us apply Bornett's theory and we would like to find out this value using Bornett's expression and also index of irregularity using Bornett's expression and we would like to see if using Bornett's empirical correction index of irregularity will be less than this or what. So, let us continue. Bonnet's empirical correction. So, what was Bonnet 1 by 2 T bar by capital T bar 1 by 3 T plus 1 to the power half. This was the expression given by Bonnet. So, we use the data given in the problem T bar 0 0.16 and 5.9 kilo tex. So, 5900 tex and 0.35 plus 1 to the power half. So, this value you will get 0. 0 0.0165. See, limit irregularity is greater than 0 0.0055. This came from Martindale. Right now index of irregularity V effective by bonnet. So, this value was 0 0.040165. So, what will be this value? 2.42 and what was the value using Martindale? Seven point two seven. So, index of irregularity is remarkably less, we found using Bornett's theory two point four two, and here it is seven point. Two seven. Right. So this was the solution of problem number eight. Now we proceed to problem number nine. Problem number nine. A yarn of 29.5 tex mean count is prepared from fibers of 0 0.17 tex mean fineness and 18 percent coefficient of variation of fineness. So, what is given here is capital T bar 29.5 tex small t bar 0 point this and v t 0 point 1 8 and also nine actual measurement measured cv of yarn is given as I told you earlier, all the expressions what we found for sliver, they are also valid for yarn. So, in practice, Martindale's formula, Bornet's formula, 
bundle theory formula are applied in case of yarns also. So, we will use those formulas for yarn as well. Okay. And two parameters are given A for from this and B from this. These parameters are obtained from Worcester statistics data. These two parameters were obtained based on Worcester statistics data. So, here actually we have to compare these three theories Martindale's model, Barnett's empirical correction and Nesker's model. So, these three theories what we have learned so far will be compared in this numerical problem. So, let us do that one by one. First, let us find out Martindale. Martindale's formula as we know right so fiber fineness is 0 0.17 tex and yarn fineness 29.5 tex and your C V was 0 0.18 plus 1. Okay. So, this will lead to 0 0.771. Then index of irregularity using Martindale. Point four five significantly higher than one. Okay. Now let us use Bonnet's expression. Bonnet's VVT B stands for Bonnet, M stands for Martindale. which was not half t bar by this to the power 1 by 3 into v square t plus 1 that was bonnets right. So, half what is t bar 0 0.17 and this 29.3 to the power 1 by 3 squared plus 1. So, this will lead to 0 0.0927. Then index of irregularity using bonnet V effective by V bonnet that is equal to 0 0.189 divided by 0 0.0927, which is equal to 2.04. This value is little less than this value. So, the bonnet's idea of clusters forming sliver is probably 
correct. Now, we have to use Nesker's model bundle theory. So, what was this bundle theory data? So, let us write V n t you remember t bar by this a plus b that was the formula. So, what is t bar given this by this and what is the value of a given 1.36 plus b is 0 0.028 into 29.5 by 2 0.17 right. So, this will lead to 0 0.1893 and then index of irregularity using Nesker's theory by this. So, 0 0.189 0 0.1893 close to 1. Right. So, if we compare this idea or model and index of irregularity i and I mention less Martindale Bonnet's idea and Esker's model. So, Martindale it was 2.45 this was 2.04 and this was 4. So, what we see is that this index of irregularity is least in case of Nesker's bundle theory and highest in case of Martinel's theory. So, probably this uh, Nesker's theory is quite well. So, problem number 9 is over. Now, we proceed to the last problem, problem number 10. Determine the mean number of lower units in the higher units in problem number 9. So, it is a continuation of problem number 9. So, let us see what is given. This was given given and also A and B given. right. Now, we use Poisson Nyan-Sliver So, first 
we find out this value from the given data. This is basically one seven three point five three. So, this is our one value. Right. Second, as it is Poisson distribution, then we remember this becomes equal to this. So, by q for 1 and this value is equal to 0 0.028. So, this leads to the value of 4228 into 173.53 which will be is equal to 4.86. We get the second reading. Right. Then we will find out the third one by using this formula. Into Q 2 1. Right. So, q 2 1 will be equal to 4 1 by 4 2, 4 1 is 173.53 and 4 2 is 4.86. Right. So, this value will be equal to 35.71 okay then we use this expression a is equal to 1 plus v square t plus q43 now a is given a is your 1.36 1 v square t is also given in this problem. Point one eight plus Q four three. This will lead to Q four three is equal to one point three six minus this and this. So zero point 3276. So, we get the another fourth reading ok. Then we use this expression q 4 3 q 3 2 q 2 1 then q 3 2 will be equal to 4 1 divided by 4 3 2 1. Now, what is 4 1? 4 1 is we have calculated 4 1 is 173.53 divided by 4 3 we have calculated 0 0.3276 and 2 1 also we have calculated 35.71. So, this ratio will give you 14.83. So, this is our another unit we found ok. Then we use another expression q 3 1 is equal to q 3 2 q 2 1. Then q 3 2 is 14.83 and q 2 1 is 35.71 529.58 so large number. At first sight, this seems to be 
improbable. However, there could be many bundles that are empty. Look at the value of Q43. Q43 is 0 0.3276 is very less value. So, that means in the <coughs> sliver there are huge number of bundles, but the number of fibers in the bundle is very less. So, there are very few fibers there could be possibility that many bundles are empty that is why you get so large reading. So, now if we summarize all readings we have 41 is 173 point this 42 we have 4.86 43 we have 3 to this then we come to 3 3 2 we have 14.83 3 1 we have 529.58 and also we have 2 1 we have calculated this so this is the mean number of lower units in the higher units this is the answer to the problem. This ends numerical problem 10 and also this ends module number 5. Thank you very much, thank you for your attention.